Working and collaborating in an international context, time can be presented differently. This can make it difficult when reviewing and examining data that is shared across borders. Microsoft Excel provides tools to clean and align time data by allowing time to be presented and converted into multiple formats. In this example, we'll take a quick look at three ways we can convert time. First, we'll look at using the built-in cell formatting options in Excel. Second, we'll use the time function to convert time into text. And lastly, we'll use the time value function to convert time represented as text into a decimal value. Let's take a look. In our worksheet, the data that we'll be working with is in the left-hand column and it's time represented in a 12-hour format. First thing we'll do is convert that time into a 24-hour format using cell formatting options. Rather than cutting and pasting data from column B into column C, I prefer to reference data. So in this case, I'll type in equals and the data value and hit enter. And then I can either drag and drop or double click so that gets applied to the remainder of its cells in the data set. Now, to convert this, it's as easy as changing the text font itself. You go under the home screen, under the text formatting drop-down option box, and we click more number formats. Within time, you'll see that it's already selected to AM and PM. Here, we can click this value and click OK. We can see that it's applied the 24-hour format to all the cells. Next, we'll convert time into text, and we'll do that using the text function. So first, we select the cell, type equals text. The value is going to be B4, comma, and now I need to enter in the format for the cell. In this particular case, I just want to have hours and minutes, so I'll type in HH colon MM, and print, oh, quotes, end quote, and then paren, and hit enter. And now we've converted all those time values in the data set into text. Lastly, we'll convert time represented as text into a decimal value. Now in Excel, time is shown internally as a number. A whole day, which is 24 hours, is represented by the number one. So each hour is a smaller part of one. For example, 6 a.m. will be shown as 0.25 because it's a quarter of a day and noon will be represented as 0.5 because it's half of a day. And you'll see that in the example we're about to do here. So first, I'll go ahead and select my cell, type in equals and time, oh, time value. Now, instead of going and selecting the 12 hour, as this is time, if I select it, I'll get an error message. So what I have to select is time that is represented as text. In this case, it's the data in column D and I'll hit enter. And then I can push that down to the rest. Now, to align the formatting, I just go under here, under home, and under numbers, I can then use this to align the numbers, or align the number of decimal points for each value. All right, if you have any comments or questions, please use the comment field below. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.